Nintendo Switch Analog Stick Drift. Not to be confused with a branch floating down a river. There has been an issue with people's Nintendo Switches lately, well, their Joy-Cons, I should say, in that their analog sticks... See, uh, they think that they're being moved when they're not actually being moved, and that can really throw you off your game. And aside from doing a warranty thing with Nintendo, like if you're out of warranty or they won't do it for free if you're out of warranty and you have to pay whatever they want to pay, if you just want to try and do it yourself, at your own risk of course, this method may be able to help you if the calibration thing on your Nintendo Switch does not work for you. You'll just need a few things, some rubbing alcohol, toothpick, and the cotton swab. Take off the cap of the rubbing alcohol, put a little bit in there, you can always put it back in the bottle lately, a little bit later. Soak your cotton swab, and now I gotta get into mackerel. I've also now got a flashlight, because this is a very difficult area to light. So anyway, this is difficult to do on camera to boot, but basically you put the toothpick underneath here, pull back the analog sickle, just see this little flapper thing here? You want to lift that up, see how you expose that little white interior thingy there? That's why I have the toothpick, because it's... Just try and get your finger in this, good luck. <laughs> So, yeah, pull back everything with the toothpick and hold it up there like so. And then take your alcohol swab and squeeze it in there with a roll. And you want to get a, like, a, maybe a drop in there. So it's just until you are sure you got something in there. And then work it in. Lots and lots of rotations, both directions, up, down, left, right. Be a select start, or wait, never mind. So yeah, and you just keep doing this until it dries, and then test it out to see how it is. If it doesn't work, repeat. Keep repeating, repeating. Well, if it doesn't work, well, then you're kind of stuck, I guess. <laughs> well, aside from replacing the analog stick yourself, because there are things that third parties have made to replace the stick yourself, but that involves actually opening it up using the, yeah, the screws on the back and stuff like that. You need a tri-wing screwdriver and stuff like that. So yeah, it's, that's a little bit more, more than what I have to do here, <laughs> to say the least. I don't even have a replacement analog stick, so yeah, I mean, I do have a tri-wing screwdriver, but I mean, I don't, I don't know how to take one of these things apart, put it back together and stuff like that, so I, I would try this first, let's just put it that way. So just keep working it in, as I said, until it dries, and test it out, see how things go. And hopefully this works. If not, well, beg Nintendo, I guess, for repair. <laughs> of course, you can always get new Joy-Cons, but these things are like $80 a set, so that's kind of a pricey thing to just replace on a whim, you know? So, I would, <laughs> I would try and see what you can do to them before you give up on your current set, you know? Alright, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.